Welcome back for another episode in our van build series. So last week we put our final wall on the van and we prepped and painted that and that's all installed now. We also removed the bed frame, painted that, and reinstalled that. So we're moving ahead with a few things. This week we're going to finish covering some of the exposed metal on the van with some fabric and then I get to paint a lot and I finish painting all of our cabinetry that will be installed very shortly. So we hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Welcome back guys. Today is uh, it's a Sunday actually. Our video just went live a couple minutes ago. Um, basically, it is above zero and that is why I'm outside right now. Um, today, I was planning on doing a little bit of work um, kind of inside the van and maybe downstairs in the basement, but uh, with honestly, with the weather being, it's not warm, I still see my breath, but it's warm enough. So I think today we're gonna try to get a couple things knocked out on the outside of the van here. Um, not really sure if we've mentioned it at all, but we've got a slight leak in one of our windows. Uh, and the only solution is to remove the window and reseal it, which really isn't that big of a deal. However, it's just too cold outside. Even though it might be warm enough today to do it, I don't have the supplies to do it. So we're not doing it today. But in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of the uh, good old trusty duct tape we're gonna actually tape the window shut essentially so like around the edge of the glass and the outside of the vehicle we're just gonna put a uh, wrap of duct tape around the edge of the window hopefully that stops any water from coming in I, theoretically it should but to be honest I don't really know where the water's coming in through the window we did seal it once already so who knows but uh, as far as the rest of the day I think I'm gonna spend a little while out here and we're basically these areas here, we're going to wrap with fabric the exact same as we did uh, at the front there on that wall. So we're gonna do that here as well. Um, and we're actually, we're just gonna leave these doors the way that they are because really we, we have panels on the bottom here and really you will not see this unless you open the rear doors such as they are right now because the bed is at that level, which hides all that. Um, and then above there, we're actually going to make new panels there that are going to have speaker cutouts in them. So, but anyway, nope, that's the plan for today. We're going to clean these up a little bit, pull all the bolts, pull all the hardware off of there. See if we can't wrap that with fabric. We're going to basically peel it back like that, wrap some fabric around to the inside edge, and these are going to be finished. So, uh, that's basically what we're going to do. Let's, uh, let's see what we can get done. we dove into the rear bumper there and we actually found a little bit more rust um, it's not really a big deal it's not a lot of rust I just figure we're here right now we may as well fix it so we're gonna fix it that's exactly what we're gonna do similar to how we fix the rust on the floor and in other areas um, we're just gonna grind it away with like a kind of a brass wheel uh, do some rust converter on it and then paint it um, this is an area that's never seen you cannot see it it's actually the rust right here, so right here is where the weather seal, the weather stripping actually goes, as you can see. Um, so that's not visible, but I just don't want that, to, you know, rust away into nothing. And then right here, this it's getting a little thin, but there's still material there. I'm not gonna worry about it. The stuff we're using is uh, one of these wire wheels. So we've got this one. This one's pretty mangled, but uh, I do still have this one. So it just goes on the drill, kind of buzz away on the rust, and then. Um, Use some of this rush check rust converter. It's just like a metal converter. And then we just have rust paint. This is, uh, we didn't really want to get rust paint initially when we bought this, but this is the closest color we could find to the original color of the van. So it just happened to be that it was rust paint. So let's get to it. Now 
now we got the material. It's the same material we used to wrap the pillar on that side. And uh, basically we're gonna wrap this area here. So I'm just gonna wipe this down one more time with a rag. And then uh, I'm gonna probably cut a piece of material and get to work. So I don't think this is gonna be that, that hard to do. Um, slightly time consuming, but really once you get it going, it goes pretty quick. Keep moving forward, let's go. So uh, as you just saw, we got the um, with the passenger side fabric. We're gonna do the driver's side here next. All right guys, welcome back. Um, it's been, been a day, it's been long. Um, I spent the better half of probably two and a half, maybe three hours um, wrapping around the rear door there. That's what I was just looking at. Um, so as you can see, it is like wrapped around. We've removed things like this and wrapped and then put this back on. Obviously we can't remove these anymore, so I just have to do my best to cut around them. Um, so now that we've got this edge nice, it's tucked in behind the weather stripping, which is what we wanted. We're actually gonna come back, and this, you notice, is not glued. We're gonna cut it right around here. So when this is done, mind, don't mind the folds, but essentially it'll only come to about there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take quarter inch plywood and build um, caps, essentially, because we've got all these big holes. Like There's a, there's a hole there, there's a hole there. Another big hole, you can see holes. So we're gonna kind of cap that with a piece of quarter inch plywood. Um, but we did the entire thing, including the top. We removed these and then put them back on afterwards and it looks really nice and clean. Um, these corners were quite tricky, but we did manage to get it done. And then again, down there. So uh, the next step is to trim back that edge and then start making templates as to what our caps are going to look like. So uh, just while I got the spray stuff out, I've still got my fabric over there. I'm gonna do my best to tidy up over top of the sliding door because that's the last bit of metal that we wanted to cover. So the first piece we did was here and we loved it. It turned out really good. We, um, we honestly weren't really planning on doing that. We weren't planning on covering the metal. It was kind of a last second decision and we're both really glad we went with it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap above the door here that should look pretty good. And then um, that's the, pretty much the last of the exposed metal. So there's gonna be little parts of the van that are gonna be, be exposed. So uh, like for example, like the metal on this door that will be showing. However, we will cover this and all of this with fabric. Like always, progress is slow, but uh, you know what? We're seeing it be made, we're happy, we're making progress. And we couldn't really ask for any more than that. So uh, let's just keep going.
Okay, welcome back. I'm in the basement right now. I'm gonna keep painting. So I'm gonna paint our storage cabinets. This guy, and then there's one behind it. So we're gonna try and get those finished because we can install those permanently once they're painted. And we'll check in with you guys after. So that's a wrap for this week's episode. Next week, we're gonna go back up on the van roof and install our ski box mounts. Once the mounts are installed, that means we'll be able to fully install our cabinetry, which we're super excited about. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you then.